Just picking up in the model we just worked with in the last video where we had the user defined variables as the entire model. Um, I'm going to show you now how you can blend the two approaches on left and right on this screen into a model that does everything you need but still looks as good as possible as a readable tech transferable summary of current knowledge. Um, I mentioned in the last video that the reference item in the ribbon said it a few times now where you can get to statements and the help manual are very good for developing power user skills. I've just pre-opened uh, statements to save a little bit of time and there is a sheet in statements called reference which talks to you about all of the different variable types in a Dynachem model uh, and there are many and then also sweeps across all of the different worksheets, components, process scenarios, and talks about what you can do with each of those variables on each of those sheets, and how much information you can see about those variables um, when you go into the simulator fitting and optimization screens. So I would recommend that sheet to a budding power user. I would even recommend that you export that sheet as a PDF Maybe keep it on your desktop or print it out on paper and keep it near you. Just doing that quickly on my own screen so you know how to do it. It's a, a tough read at this level of magnification, but if I um, just boost it up a little bit, you'll see it all fits on one page. And all of the places where the word Y for yes appears are colored green. So it really does give you a pretty good guide as to what you can do with each type of variable in each part of your Dynacam model and your Dynacam session. So I'm just going to show now how you can unite the two different kinds of model. So back in our model that we've used as the workhorse for this video series, I've just added another variable, a user-defined variable, it's called heat out. It is uh, the integral of the reaction power input, the integral of the QR signal. So actually that's why I'm doing it. I want to integrate QR into a, an energy output from my reaction. Um, so you can think of that as the heat out is the integral of QR with respect to time or d heat out dt equals qr. Those two equations are equivalent and it's the d heat out dt equals qr version that I'm going to use here. So we have heat out, no initial value, units of kilojoules for convenience, plot so we see it on the chart, integrate so that Dynachem is expecting to see a d heat out dt or a heat out dot dy dt term in the model and then we provide that term again just making some space underneath yield for this additional user defined variable and again because it's going to be integrated we write heat out dot dy dt equals solution dot qr so this is so much easier than hand coding the reaction rates hand coding the reaction heats multiplying the right rates by the right heats uh, and all the rest of it it's much more readable as well to my colleagues. So I'm trying to show you here how you can blend the two approaches and we would do this pretty extensively in process safety models, also in crystallization models where we follow the size distribution. Many of the rates and the integrated equations are custom to that application, giving the user complete control over how that particular element is modeled. But we'll still use Dynachem statements phases, transfers, heat transfer, all the rest of it to simplify all the other parts of the problem so that the user only has to focus on customizing the parts that, that they wish to customize. So I'm just going to run that model now in simulator and um, show you what that looks like when you take a user-defined integrated rate equation and combine that with the standard Dynachem statement rate equations. And uh, as I've done in most sessions so far, I'm just going to rescale and then press the play button. And there's my heat out 
variable. It looks a lot like the yield output. In this case, heat out is a very close cousin of thermal conversion. So that, that makes total sense that these would look similar. And we have a heat out of 59 roughly kilojoules up to this point in the model. Of course, we can use the continue button to go on and see the heat output later. Keep hitting continue to continue the integration. Those little shortcuts can be learned easily by pressing F1 in any of these Dynachem screens and you'll find out more about how to use that particular screen. Similarly, if we just go back a couple of videos to see how many ODEs are being solved, it was 10, but now it is 11 in this first scenario. And that's because we've added this extra rate equation, heat out dy dt.